guys, we're doing another Antarctica trip and I wanted to show you step by step on what I was going to pack for Antarctica and also whenever you get into Ushuaia what is really cool and easy and fast to do before you get onto your boat. You could even do this on the day you're supposed to get onto your boat because it's a pretty simple hike but you get amazing views and you get to feel a little bit of Argentina whereas sometimes whenever you get on this boat you're in, you're out, you're gone. <laughs> Today we're going up to Marshall Glacier and then we're going to go out to eat with our friends to Isabel, which is a restaurant that has typical Argentinian food. These discs that are pretty easy on the stomach, it's nothing too crazy, so even if you go on the Jake Passes the next day, you'll be okay. <laughs> and after that, I'm gonna show you what I'm packing for this amazing trip. And we just want to say how lucky and fortunate we are to go on a second Antarctica trip. It's so crazy. And we're actually gonna be with two other very amazing Amazing ladies that are also going on their second Antarctica trip. They were all on the same boat as us when the window broke. It's basically once in a lifetime and I just feel so lucky and fortunate to have been able to stay around in Argentina for another month just to get on to the second boat that we're going to head on to in a couple days. Yeah it's really crazy because when we did the first trip we didn't even want to pay for that. No. Now we're getting <laughs> 22 extra days out of a 10 day trip. So we're getting 300% the value we expected. And we already had that last minute deal last time. Yeah, it's, it's just so unbelievably lucky that we get to go to Antarctica twice. It was mostly because the window on our boat broke, but because a woman passed away the same night as our window broke, I feel as if Cork, the company that we went with, has um, maybe upped the deal even more because we, because people were probably very upset. Our hearts go out to that family. We are very upset about that. Antarctica is, is dangerous and our heart goes out to all the families affected by that. Mm -hmm. And we're hoping for a smooth trip this time. Yeah. I just want to say that also, if you're going to Antarctica, I feel like it is a dream that you've had for a really long time. So the fact that that woman got to go to Antarctica, is, I'm just happy that they got to meet their dreams. I hope that for us going on this trip and for the families, everything ends up being okay. So this trip is only 15 minutes away from the center of Ushuaia and you can do a taxi up here pretty easy. <laughs> over to Isabel. It's some Argentinian food, so it's supposed to be super good. After we got showers, ah, just kidding, we didn't get showers. We just changed our clothes because we don't get showers. <laughs> Let's check it out. <laughs> so Isabel specializes in discos or these big metal discs that they put into the oven with different meats and veggies and sauces and it all cooks together. They have two sizes. You can either get it for two people or for three people. The vegetable one is also vegan. It is plenty of food and super delicious. So it's the beginning of a very hard day. We're going to get on the boat, which means we're leaving our two pets behind. It's hard to be excited knowing that we won't be able to see these two for a little while. All right, I'm going to start my packing for the trip. And since I've already been, I know what I definitely need and what I feel I didn't use as much. So I'll put this on in the description, but I brought one pair of waterproof mittens, two pairs of fingerless gloves, five buffs, one pajama set, one fleece sweater, two sun shirts, three nice shirts, one base layer shirt, one t-shirt, 
one pair of leggings, one pair of bike shorts, one bathing suit, one base layer pants, two pairs of jeans, one pair of outdoor pants, one puffy jacket, one beanie, one pair of slipper socks, eight pairs of regular socks, one pair of waterproof pants, one pair of Chaco sandals, one pair of sneakers, and one pair of my Doc Martin boots. Most of the time you're hanging around the boat, so make sure to have comfortable but nice outfits for that. Oh man, we're dropping off our buddy kind of sad time but we know that this is a good spot and he loved it there before so he's gonna love it there again and everything's gonna work out fine it's just sad to drop off our little guy oh next we're dropping off our lady after this trip i definitely don't want to leave them again we were just going to get dropped off by our friends here, but then they noticed that they've got a little flat tire. It looks like we're never gonna make it. Just kidding. So we get to save our friends one last time, unless it, <laughs> unless you guys are still gonna be around when we get back. I know. Right. Yeah, <laughs> we're thinking they will be. I'm thinking they will be. Because now you got a bum tire, you gotta stick around. <laughs> so we're gonna be heading to the boat soon. We have dropped off the pets. We've made our rounds around Ushuaia. And right when we were trying to leave, what happens? Oh my gosh, our friends who were gonna drop us off, we ended up helping them out instead because they had a flat tire. And the car next to him had kind of a low tire too, so he thought it could have been malicious, but it turned out I saw they had a, a good screw in their tire. So I changed out of my fancy boat clothes and got the compressor out of the trunk and we were able to get them pumped up and on the way to a tire repair spot. Now we have 40 minutes to make it to this boat. We're going to make it on the boat, but we were, we're just kind of decompressing. Still sad about leaving our, about leaving our pets and then and also sad about leaving the friends. Yeah, we've been traveling together for a month which is like so rare that we see the same people for a month and yet we're about to do that with a ship full of people. <laughs> but I'm going to miss those friends. Yeah, I'm really going to miss our friends. Especially because they have such a different route than us. They're going to go to Australia and then, I mean, I really hope that we can meet up someday soon. But right now it looks it looks like they're, it's gonna be a while before we see each other again. Unless they're still here lollygagging in Ushuaia whenever we get back. I really hope so. <laughs> yeah, me too. It'd be yeah. nice to see them on the flip side. Yeah. And hopefully they manage to get a good deal and go to Antarctica as well. Yeah. Then, I think then they'd have enough time that we'd see them on the other side. For sure. It's time to drop off the van. Yeah. With dropping off the van, we're going to also um, clean it a little bit. We're going to take out the trash. We're going to take out a fuse so that if someone tried to steal the van, they couldn't, which is kind of cool. Dump the gray water. Dump the gray water, do all that kind of stuff. And we better do it quick. Yep. <laughs> I think we're okay. We had just enough time to save the friends. What a way to say goodbye to our van friends. Yeah. That was so insanely epic. Oh, one last look at the van before we head off. We've got all of the window covers up. We have the exhaust fan on low just to keep it fresh in here. It's pretty sunny in Ushuaia, so we're not really worried about it getting too low for the van. We cleaned up, we swept, I changed the litter so it doesn't sink in here. <laughs> While we're gone, we took out the trash, dumped the gray water, got the vinegar in the gray water tank, and took the starter fuse out of the engine, even, and hid that. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna just make sure we didn't leave anything. I have a little bit of a fear of leaving things, honestly. Oh, you know what? I think I'll put a pen in my pocket. Oh, absolutely need this. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I almost left this. This is the thing to make the GoPro waterproof and I almost left it here. <laughs> well, this is it for the van. Let's see. Whoop, locked. So we got the van all locked up and it feels 
exciting. Oh man, I'm at the <laughs> state now where I just want to see our room. I want to see the boat. I want to get a shower. I haven't showered in a few days, honestly. <laughs> living in a van compared to living in a luxury boat. I'm super excited, even though the sadness of leaving the friends, the leaving the pets. But it's all worth it. We wouldn't have even been able to hang out with our friends if we didn't if we didn't take this boat. So such a crazy day you know we're kind of running down to the wire here because of you know our friend van having that flat tire <laughs> what a way to say goodbye to Shwaya here the end of the world this is gonna be a big one you guys we're really excited to bring you along <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at that room! An L-shaped couch? Oh, and all our luggage. Oh. What? <laughs> look at this, look at this, look at this desk we have. <gasps> oh window, my gosh. The window is not the best. View, no, there right? are no there are no time lapses happening out of this window. I can't complain it was free. It know? was free. We'll but wait, upstairs. look at this. Great, great we can everywhere. see each other right oh, here. Yo, yo, yo. What's this gonna be? Oh <laughs> whoa. <gasps> there's an there's a oh, heated floors. Heated floors. Heated heated floors. floors. A shower. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. there's a glacier in the shower. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is a boat that you can live on. We actually have room for more Stuff. things. Yeah. This is the life jacket closet. Okay. Life jacket. Oh, and here's the prices. So, uh, caviar is a thousand. Oh, okay. Um, so, underwear. To get a your laundry done, underwear is $2 per piece yes, of underwear. I believe, I believe per sock is $1.50. So good thing we did the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so amazing. I'm so excited. We're heading to our first briefing. We'll hear from our leader. Introduce myself on the bus, um, but for those who maybe couldn't quite hear, uh, my name is Abby. Here an overview of our destinations. The first being the Falkland Islands, South Georgia, from there to the Antarctic Peninsula. And a reminder to move around the boat with intention. Abby also showed us the forecast for our first day at sea to the Falkland Islands, and to me it looks pretty smooth. Taken off, and look, there's a little dog on the port. Yeah, make sure everything is good, buddy. All done, tied up. We're not tied up anymore, my mans. Thanks, buddy, for being so great. Is he running to say goodbye? Yeah, he's running. He's got a little life vest on. Yeah, I think he works for them. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Overnight, as we've been sleeping, the Ultramarine has continued her transit to the Falkland Islands. Good morning! We're waking up on the Ultramarine. I can't believe that this is real right now. And breakfast is being served in the Bellina restaurant between now and 9.30. And at 9.30, we would like to invite you to the Ambassador's Theater for our mandatory Zodiac and I had our briefings. Thank you, everyone. All right, we're gonna head to the mandatory Zodiac. Just safety briefing, yeah. And now we're gonna hit the gym. It's actually really nice. <laughs> Thanks so much for getting ready and coming onto the ship with us. We can't wait for tomorrow on the Falkland Islands. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to see the entire adventure we have in store. If you want to show us some more love, head over to our Patreon. We'll see you guys next time.